In this lesson, we're going to see a new way to use the qualifier const, and that is to create const member functions. It's another way to keep yourself safe when you're writing your class definitions. What is a const member function? Some functions should not be allowed to change the calling object. You don't want the function to in any way modify the member data of the object that it that is calling it. You can do this by making it a const member function. So let's ask the question, which function should be read only? Okay, so let's take a look at the very first one, the read in function. So what is its purpose? Its purpose is to read information from the user and then actually write it into or change the object. So it should not be read only. What about the print function? Well, all it's doing is outputting information, so we're going to make it a const function. Reciprocal? Well, it doesn't change the calling object. And reduce. It will change the calling object. It's not read only. Get num? Const function. Get den? Const function. It should not change the calling object. Set numer. Of course it's going to change the calling object. Set denom. Of course. Okay. We want to point out something very important. These are very different uses of that qualifier const. And both of them are different from creating a global constant. They're not the same. Anytime you write a function that should not change the calling objects, member variables, slap a const on it. That const must go into the definition of the function also.